Hi everyone, my name is CJ and welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to make this cute top. It has a nice texture on the front part and we have symmetrical designs on the top and on the bottom part. This is also a full back with the shell stitches at the bottom. This top is perfect to pair with shorts, pants, or skirts. Now let's get into the tutorial. To start, make a magic circle. Make 3 double crochet inside the circle. Pull this to tighten. For the next row, make chain 1, yarn over and then make 3 double crochet in this first stitch. Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Make three double crochet in this last stitch. Next row, chain 1, and then make 2 double crochet on this first stitch. Make 1 double crochet in the next 5 stitches. Make 2 double crochet on this last stitch. Next row, make chain 1, then 3 double crochet on this first stitch. Then on the middle stitches, just make one double crochet each. For the last stitch, make 3 double crochet. For the next row, make chain 1 and turn. Make 2 double crochet on the first stitch. And the middle stitches, just make one double crochet each. For the 
for the last row, make 2 double crochet. Next row, chain 1. On the first stitch, make 3 double crochet. Make 1 double crochet each in the middle stitches. For the next row, make chain 1, then 2 double crochet on the first stitch. Make 1 double crochet in the middle stitches. Two double crochet in the last stitch. For the next row, chain one, then three double crochet on the first stitch. One double crochet in the middle stitches. And 3 double crochet in the last stitch. For the next row, make chain 1, then 2 double crochet in the first stitch. One double crochet in the middle stitches. Make 2 double crochet on the last stitch. And for the last row, make chain 1, turn, and then 3 double crochet on the first stitch.
1 double crochet in the middle stitches. And for the last stitch, make 3 double crochet. You just have to lock this stitch and then cut your yarn. the excess yarn using a tapestry needle. Now make another one of these but do not cut your yarn at the end. We now have our two pieces here. So to continue, make chain one. And you will have to make an alternate of one single crochet and one double crochet for the rest of the stitches. So we have our last stitch here, we just have to insert on the last stitch, get the other piece and insert that on the first stitch. And then pull the yarn, then make the single crochet. Then you will have to repeat the same pattern and alternate of double crochet and single crochet until the end of the row. For the next row, make chain 1 and we will make a double crochet on this one since this is a single crochet and single crochet for the next since this is a double crochet. Okay, double crochet on this one, single crochet since this is a double crochet. Repeat the same pattern for the rest of the row. For the next row, make chain 1. We will make a single crochet on the top of this double crochet. 
So it's the same pattern, an alternate of single crochet and double crochet. You will have to repeat the same pattern for the rest of the rows. Now we are done with the middle part of the front. This has a total of 14 rows. If you want to make yours longer, you will have to add more rows. We will be doing some double crochet stitches here. This is a full back, so we will be doing some rows of double crochet and after that, we will have to connect it into the other side so to start start with chain one then one double crochet on this first stitch so for this first double crochet here you will be doing one more double crochet and this single crochet you will make one double crochet and for the next one so this is a double crochet just make one more double crochet next stitch single crochet make one double crochet next hole this is a double crochet make two double crochet Next stitch, single crochet, make one double crochet. Next hole, one double crochet only. Next one, one double crochet. Next, two double crochet here. Single. For the next row, make chain one and make one double crochet in all of the stitches To continue this part, just continue making a row of double crochet. Now we are done with the back part, so we will now attach it into the other side. Here it goes. Insert your hook and then pull this yarn from the other side. Pull it through and then make chain one. Okay, so insert it again on the same stitch and you will connect it by using a slip stitch. So from this one, insert your hook, pull it in slip stitch. Now do the same pattern for the rest of the row.
done with the front part and the back part. We will now be making the bottom part of our top. So to start, make chain 1, then make 1 double crochet on this stitch. Let's make chain 2. Make 1 double crochet here. Make chain 2, then skip this part, then make 1 double crochet here. So repeat the same pattern all around. Continue in the front part. So to do that, make chain 2, skip one stitch, go over the next, and make one double crochet. Same thing, make chain 2, skip one stitch, and then one double crochet on the next. And repeat the same pattern for the rest of the stitches. slip stitch it on the first double crochet for the next row make chain one and one double crochet on the same stitch one double crochet under the chain two then one double crochet here then repeat the same pattern Make one double crochet under the chain 2 and then make another double crochet on this stitch. Same pattern all around. slip stitch it into the first double crochet for the next row make chain one one double crochet on the first stitch now we will have to repeat the same pattern on this one so make chain two Skip one stitch and make one double crochet on the next. Make two chains. Skip one stitch and one double crochet on the next. Repeat the same process all around. We are done with this row, so let's slip stitch it into the first double crochet. To start the next row, we will have to make a 5 double crochet shell. And to do that, make 5 double crochet on this stitch. Then slip stitch it into the next stitch here. 
and back to our 5 double crochet shell make 5 double crochet on this stitch here slip stitch and the next stitch here now repeat the same pattern for the rest of the row you will have to do this all around the stitches now let's slip stitch onto this first stitch here and lock your yarn Hide this excess yarn using a tapestry needle. We are now done with the bottom part, so let's get ahead on onto this part. Now let's start here, insert your hook. On this, insert your hook on this stitch right here. Make a slip knot. Pull it through, then make chain 1. Make 2 more chains, then make 1 double crochet on this stitch here. Okay, let's make chain 2 and insert your hook on this next stitch here. Make double crochet, make chain 2. Insert your hook on this stitch here. Repeat the same process, make chain 2 and insert your hook, make double crochet on this corner stitches. Make one double crochet on this top here. And then repeat the same pattern on this side here.
okay so on this center we don't have to make the two chains but just make a double crochet here and proceed to making the same pattern on this side here then double crochet here Okay, to continue for the next row, let's make chain 3, then make double crochet under this chain 2, make 1 double crochet on this stitch, and repeat the same pattern. Make 1 double crochet under the chain 2. And then one double crochet on this stitch here. On this top stitch here, let's make three double crochet. One double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. So continue making the same pattern on this side, making one double crochet under the chain two, and then another one double crochet on this stitch. So on the middle part, so this last chain two here. Let's make one double crochet under it. Okay, then proceed to making the double crochet on this part. So skip this one and proceed on this stitch. Continue and then skip the stitch here. Make the double crochet here and continue making the same pattern. Down to your last double crochet, skip this stitch and make one double crochet on this chain here, on the third chain. Then for the next row, let's make chain 3. Turn, skip one stitch and then make one double crochet. Let's make chain 2, skip 1 stitch, and then 1 double crochet. Repeat the same pattern, make chain 2, skip 1, and 1 double crochet. We are now on the top. We will not skip another stitch here. We will proceed to making the double crochet here since it since this is the topmost stitch and let's make another chain two and then one double crochet on the next stitch here okay and then go back to your usual pattern with chain two is skipping one stitch and then make double crochet chain two Skip the stitch and double crochet here. So on this center part, you will not do the chain 2, but proceed to making the double crochet here, skipping this stitch here. Again, do not make chain 2, skip the stitch here and then make one double crochet. And then back to your usual pattern, chain 2, skip one stitch and double crochet chain two skip one stitch and then double crochet then repeat the same pattern and then let's meet here for last double crochet for this row skip one stitch and then one double crochet on the third chain now for the last row turn and make a five double crochet shell 
So start on this one, make five double crochet. slip stitch here then make another five double crochet on this stitch And let's slip stitch here. You repeat the same pattern until you make it to the top. So we are on the top part. Let's slip stitch here. Now we will be making the straps. So let's make chains. This is a total of 141 chains. If you want to make yours shorter or longer, just increase or decrease the number of chains. Okay. Then, let's proceed to making the slip stitches. Repeat this for the rest of the chain. slip stitch on this part and then continue by making the five double crochet shell for this part We are now on the center part okay so let's skip this stitch here and proceed to making the five double crochet on this stitch Skip this stitch here and slip stitch here. Now continue by making the same pattern on this side. We are now also done on this side. So you just now have to lock your stitch. Hide this excess yarn using a tapestry needle. We are now done with the top. Thank you very much for watching. I would love to see all of your works. And if you do, please post it on your social media accounts and tag me. You can also use the hashtag crochet by CJ so that I can see it and give it a heart. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are interested in watching more, please see some of my videos and my playlist. Thank you very much for watching.